In southern Lebanon, the war between Israel and Hezbollah has taken its toll on both the residents and the environment. This used to be a plastics factory. Two months after it was hit by missiles, the ruins are still smoldering. Stored inside the factory were toxic compounds such as vinyl chloride and PVC used for making medical supplies. The chemicals were scattered around the area when the building exploded. A farmer shows us one of many cluster bombs which landed in his olive grove. Hundreds of unexploded bombs remain littered across the area. Water supplies have been destroyed. Leaks from the wrecked sewage infrastructure carry a high risk of disease. Residents find clean water hard to come by. Thirty kilometers south of Beirut, the fuel tanks at JR power plant were destroyed. Up to 15,000 tons of oil have spread along the Lebanese coast. It's one of the biggest environmental catastrophes ever seen in the Mediterranean. Scuba divers are in a desperate race against time. They're worried that winter will bring storms that could stir up the oil mixed with sand on the sea floor. On the onset of winter season, and uh, storms will, uh, yeah, will be coming soon. Also, we know if we don't take all the oil out, the storms might uh, redistribute what's on the sea floor again, especially the one that uh, did not go through the burning process on the surface of the sea. Experts worry the oil spill could devastate marine life. In this area, we spotted some 15, 20 uh, sea turtles. They are both green sea turtles and loggerhead sea turtles. They are both endangered species. And the oil spill may have an impact and will have an impact uh, on their nestling, on the beaches, and on their reproduction. The Greenpeace flagship Rainbow Warrior has been dispatched to help the international effort to contain the oil spill. The Rainbow Warrior is now in Lebanon uh, aiming to work with an Italian team of experts also as part of the international assistance to the country to do a sea-based survey of the areas where there is potential underwater fuel. Greenpeace divers have mapped the extent of the underwater contamination. They also collected oysters to analyze the effect of the oil spill on marine life. Greenpeace says the international community must carry out a thorough assessment of environmental damage caused by the conflict. Only then can planning begin for the long-term protection of Lebanon's environment.